All right, so welcome to the channel. My name is Stud Toshi, and what we are talking about today has to do with life. And you may be wondering why does this dirt bag or this idiot or this fat boy or this old juggalo have something to say to benefit you? All right, so this place is very magical to me. I love this spot because it's got some beautiful stuff around in the area. And I just want to show you a little bit about the area itself. I'm going to pan around. Show you the beautiful nature. My name is James. So. We are in an undisclosed location, and um, I was going to put it further back so to have more room, but I think the scenery would definitely make it uh, a lot less appealing. So this is one of my uh, prized locations that I like to come to when I need to be at one with nature and at peace. Um, I was going to put it back a little bit, but it looked like a giant bear sat there because uh, it's just all flat. And uh, you got a turkey vulture that's right behind us, just flying around. He was over here in this bush right here. And I'm here to tell you that for a long time, I didn't think I had nothing for this world, but I'll tell you that that's different today because when you become a father and you go through a lot of trials in your life, you start to realize, what was it all for? Why did all this stuff happen? Why was I spared? as much as I can say that I was, through all the drama, all of the stuff that I've been through, all the things that I never was uh, willing to admit that happened, what do I have to say for it, you know? Like, one of the most important things that I've just recently learned was that it's none of my business what somebody else thinks about who I am. And that resonated with me a whole lot. And the reason it resonated with me a whole lot is because it's so true. It's none of my damn business what somebody thinks about me. And maybe that message is important for somebody else to hear today because I may not have much, but I do have some knowledge to benefit other people, which is, it's not all about money. It's not all about prestige. It's not all about where you are in life. It's about what you're leaving behind, what you plan on doing with the scraps you've been given, how you're gonna adapt and pivot to the position that you need to be in. And what I realized is year on end, I was trying to figure out how to make $1 into $2, and $2 into $4, and do it on my own. What I realized was that uh, there's people that have figured out a way and a system to do it in a legal manner and get it done the way that it needs to get done. Um, I was arrogant. For a long time I felt like that, that my arrogance was what was holding me back. And I just, I was too hard headed to actually see the truth. And the truth is, is today, I'm not as hard headed, I'm still a hard headed bonehead, but at the same time I know that uh, that's what's kept me alive this long. Uh, through the COVID, through the hardships, through the felony, through the fucking, the ringer, being set up on purpose for some of the hardships of my life and taking the fall for things and doing things that I wish I'd never done, you know? So today, I'm now 35. I sit here in peace and quiet, knowing very well that I'm accountable today. And that people hold me accountable today. And people don't understand how somebody so far gone can still be accountable. Well, today, I'm accountable. I'm accountable for my loved ones. I'm accountable for my friends. I'm accountable for my bank account, my overdrafts, my debt, the amount of money I borrowed, the amount of money I didn't borrow the car I have, the things I want, the drive that I have, the energy that I don't have, and the questions and the answers. And I'm accountable for all of it, you know? Like, not just one piece. I'm accountable for the whole 
quesadilla, you know, like, it's not just one thing, you know, it's a whole piece. And what I didn't understand was I was fighting for the one piece, not the whole pie, you know. I was fighting for the money, I wasn't fighting for the love, I wasn't fighting for the support, I wasn't fighting for my friends, I wasn't fighting for the lost ones that died because they had a syringe in their arm, I wasn't fighting for somebody that was wondering if they should hang themselves. I wasn't fighting for the people that cared about me when I had no help and no struggle that was going to t change my mind from wanting to kill myself. For my dad that basically had the conversation with me to say, son, I need you to stop trying to kill yourself because that's what you're doing and uh, I, can't, I can't let you do that, you know? So today's a new day. I don't have much to do. I'm not worried about a job, not worried about anything about monetary stability. I'm not worried about it. And for a long time I have been. Um, today I'm not. I'm not worried about it because it's just, it's just a rock in the pond, you know, like just one rock. It's one rock in the pond, you know. So being one with nature is sometimes important. It gets your grounding right. And if you don't have grounding, then how are you going to move from the position you are in to where you're trying to go? Most people don't even know where they're trying to go. My biggest problem that I had growing up was I didn't have a plan. I had my plan thrown at me from everybody else. And then I had to pick which one was fair enough for me to actually get through the actual skill sets to accomplish what I was ultimately trying to do for my plan. Even though I didn't know what my plan was, subconsciously I did know what my plan was. was I wanted to be influential. I wanted to be somebody that had a fucking story that made sense and other people could re resonate with. I wanted some sort of way to resonate with a grand scale of people that are really hurting that can hear something and a, a message of hope, something along those lines. So the biggest thing that I can share isn't of monetary wealth. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Maybe you have some insight on how to go from where I am to some somewhere else, from A to B. If you don't have that input, I don't wanna hear it because I know you haven't been where I've been. And when you're coming from the bottom of the barrel, it makes it really hard to actually go and change your direction. So I'd like to say that um, a lot of people here are um, are lost. A lot of people in this world are lost. And there's a reason they're lost. The reason they're lost is because they just did the same thing I did, which was they didn't care about their life. They didn't want to admit that they had a problem. They didn't see it, or if that, that was the case, they were in denial about it. Or maybe they just were mentally ill. You know, it doesn't matter what the reason is. What I'm trying to get at is that just because you're there doesn't mean that you're alone and it doesn't mean that you are the only one that has been through something similar. What I can suggest is that you just, you look at what is going on in your life and open up to what you can relate with, not with what you can't. Because the whole time I tried to better my life, all I did was compare out. Oh, this guy's got a Ferrari. This guy's got a million dollar girlfriend. This guy's got a wife. This guy's got a family, a picket fence, a dog. None of that matters, dude. Half of them are unhappy, man. They've got all these obligations and they don't know what to do and they ain't doing a good job and they just happen to be paid well. So what? This world is changing. Whether you want to admit it or not, it's changing. So this is your pivotal time. You may be feeling as if you are down and out. You may feel as if you have nothing to share or nothing to contribute to the world. I am here to tell you that you have something to contribute to this world. And the reason I'm saying that is because the world is changing right now. So if you didn't have a chance when you were doing yada, yada, yada back then, this is your time where you have a chance. Everything's changing. It's going this way or it's going that way, you know, and it's a fork in the road. Start there. It's happening while I am speaking is changing. 
So maybe this is just the most important time in, in your life to actually switch over from, oh, I shouldn't do that or I shouldn't do this or just to stop focusing on the problem and focus on what the solution is. If you know what the problem is, then you know what the solution is. It's inside you. And it, that's the main gist of this conversation today is because sometimes it re, you have to change your perspective in order to realize what you got. And what I've realized by changing my perspective is that what I've got is a whole lot more than what I'm willing to admit that is fair and unfair. What I've got is a whole big heaping plate. And that plate is hard. And it's hard to endure when you know you don't got the answer. So today, I don't have to hold a gun. I don't have to own a weapon to feel as if I am safe. I don't have to feel as if I am inadequate because of my past. Honestly, the same mistakes and weaknesses that I looked at in the past are actually strengths. When I actually admit that I was weak in that point. Because now I have a, a jumping off point to actually do something about it and become great. So today is a new day. It's a Monday. It's nice out here. I hope that you get what you are trying to when it comes to this message. This message is basically just keep going with what you're doing. If you haven't got the result yet, maybe it was the wrong time. Maybe it was just the wrong way that you did it. Maybe it was just like one thing that you just needed to flip around or invert or maybe it was just you need to take a break, you know, like that's the first thing I realized for a long time. I've been at go, 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 go. Even the Marines take a break. Think about that. Even the Marines take a break. Any team takes a break, man. NFL players take a break. I didn't take a damn break because I knew that if I didn't keep pushing the ball where I needed it to go, I wasn't going to get the shit done or the answer or what I was trying to accomplish was the failure. I was trying to fail. When you don't rest right, when you don't eat right, when you don't treat yourself well, and you don't give yourself the gratitude that you rightfully deserve, you're going to fail. And that's what I learned. So I appreciate you. If you like what you see here, and you like what I had to say, please hit the follow button. Like, subscribe to my channel, because like I said, I do have knowledge, and it may save somebody's life someday. So share it to somebody that actually you think needs it, because one day... They might. I appreciate it. Statoshi out.